you know, being ruled by your heart or your emotional head sometimes, all sort of rhyme and reason can go out the window. And, it, and it's sort of your, your, you may, I don't know whether you've got different terminology to sort of uh, uh, talk about this, but, but it's sort of the more, sometimes you have to have a word with yourself to be rational, because otherwise, if you're completely taken away by your emotion, sometimes you can make really silly decisions or, or have silly reactions or all those sorts of things. Right, especially if those emotions are negative emotions and you can be self-sabotaging and so on and so forth. But one of the mantras that I try to tell myself personally is balancing, um, you know, a warm heart with a strong mind. And you can define for that what that means for you, right? So warm heart and strong mind and balancing those two and recognizing when you're going a bit off kilter and what balance looks like for you. Balance is my mantra. And, um, and I think that a lot of people now are, are seeking balance in their life because things have become so out of balance. So whether it's in your loving relationships and your career, in your health, your personal life, whatever it may be, I think balance should be a mantra for a lot of people. And that's uh, one of the reasons why I'm, I'm developing this Renew Me brand, brand is to help bring more balance to people everywhere. So, so what is that? Tell me about it. Renew Me is a, is a digital brand. It's in the um, space of Calm and Headspace, which are both uh, exceptional apps that are um, in the realm of mindfulness. But Renew Me is about balance. And it's, it's not mindfulness is just a part of balance, uh, living a balanced life. But balance is about coping skills. It's about setting goals. It's about being able to relax. It's about, um, you know, skillful thinking and skillful living and resources for help and, and all of that. It's, it's kind of an all-encompassing and, and being able to check in with self so that you can make stronger, wiser decisions for yourself and your life and your relationships. So um, a lot of it has, you know, there's a lot of audio tracks and a lot of resources for people. And I hope to bring this to uh, corporations and hospitality brands for their employees and their customers um, so basically we can all make the world a better place. I mean, a lot of people, if you are someone who wants to sort of stop being hot-headed around your heart, you want to stop sort of, you know, being ruled by that emotion, um, what is mindfulness and how would that make someone practicing that, perhaps make them a little bit more um, level-headed when it comes to these situations? Right. So, you know, there's there's a couple of different ways about going about this. And, and, you know, in therapy, what I work with is healing the emotions that were maybe coming from triggering events in the past and how those emotions are being reflected today in events and relationships that may be triggering you. So when we start to lift that negativity and change the way you're responding in the subconscious, all kinds of wonderful things can manifest and happen in, in your day-to-day -day life. And that's really with deep therapy um, modalities, right? We can do that. But for a lot of people who cannot get therapy, uh, I go back to skillful living and skillful thinking. And one of the things is being aware, first of all, of yourself and your life, your, your external and your internal being aware of, you know, what your needs are and what your values are and what it is that you need at this moment, right? And then also being able to align your dreams and aspirations with your daily habits and routines and learning the skills to do that. Um, so these are, these are big, big aspects of, you know, maintaining a balanced life, constantly checking in with yourself to see what kinds of core belief systems are working. Do you have more negative core belief systems working or do you have more positive core belief systems working? And that might be if you don't feel worthy enough, good enough, who in your life is contributing to that? What are some of the things that you're doing or things that maybe happened in your past that are creating those thoughts? And how can you start to align yourself with the belief that you are good enough, you are worthy? And you don't have to it's like, where does change take place? Do things have to change on the outside first for you to change on the inside? Or can you begin to change things on the inside just by recognizing the times that you are good enough, the small, sparkling moments where things are going well? And a lot of times we take those small moments for granted. I, I, right? think, I, I think a part of it as well is, is um, uh, and, and 
there's a real the expression that really resonates with me is uh, on this is that youth is wasted on the young because there's so much that comes from getting older as well and yeah. worrying you know when I think about the things I used to worry about in my 20s and get really obsessed with. And when you're older, what is brilliant about getting older is you've got the security to say, ye gods, that was just such a waste of time and energy. <laughs> and I think sometimes that can um, that can really help. It's been really good to talk to you, Dr. Lisa Palmer. Thank you so much for giving us uh, your insights in what makes us all a little bit crazy over COVID and over love as well. Uh, thank you very much indeed for the time.